Hey guys, welcome to your career and finance reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to take a look and see um, what is going on with you guys in your career and your finances for the month. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, apply this to your own situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Cancer. Messages for Cancer when it comes to your career and finances for September 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What can Cancer expect? What does Cancer need to know when it comes to their career and finances? for September 2024 for Cancer, okay? So Cancer, I'm gonna Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands, okay? So I feel like there's forward movement that's happening in your career and your finances here. Ace of Wands is a representation of new beginnings here, new ideas, new creative ventures here. So could be a situation, you know, Six of Swords here, Ace of Wands, you guys could be starting a new business here. You know, Six of Swords, you know, you could get, you guys could be traveling or that you guys could be moving, okay? Perhaps the, the travels that you're going through or that you're going on for the month could be giving you inspiration, could be give, giving, you, uh, giving you new ideas here. So we have the Seven of Cups, okay? So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys have a lot of new ideas, but I feel like you guys have to focus on one thing, do one thing before you move on to the next thing here. And I feel like one of the things I feel like some of you guys might struggle with when it comes to, you know, doing something here or achieving something here is that there is a lack of discipline here. Okay. So I feel like you guys have to find some sort of discipline here because I feel like you guys might have a tendency to find new ideas and then you guys might get confused here. So there is a lack of mental discipline here where I feel like you guys might have to work on um, that discipline in order for you to achieve this new idea here, this new idea that you might be starting has something to do with health and wellness. You know, uh, maybe you guys want to start a, a business in that, you know, maybe products in health and wellness, you know, maybe something in yoga, Pilates, or, you know, something in exercise, um, you know, maybe a personal trainer or something like that. We have the seven of wands here. Okay. Two sevens here. This is an indication that you guys are spending a lot of time on your own trying to reassess and reevaluate your career here. You know, sometimes that Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, you know, the way that I'm looking at it, it could be that you're kind of like switching directions, you know, changing directions in your life here, and that you're trying to find your purpose here and your calling here with the Star card. The Star card is a representation of someone here who can be a light worker or someone here who gives back to others and supports others here and helps others. Maybe that's something that you're trying to fight for here, okay? Or that this is something that you really truly want. Uh, Aquarius energy with the star card. Tell me the six of swords here. Six of swords and the three of wands here, okay? Um, a lot of traveling is happening here, I feel. And like I said, some of you guys could be finding a lot of inspiration through your travels at this time here. Or that you guys are making plans um, towards the future on goals that you want to achieve for yourself. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Ace of Pentacles, another Ace here, okay? A lot of changes are happening here. Some of you guys could be moving to a new home, okay? Or that you guys are purchasing a new car. Um, some of you guys could be leaving a, not, a nine to five work situation to completely start something new here, all right? Uh, we have the Seven of Cups and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Moving forward here, Cancer, I mean, this could be an indication that you guys have a lot on your plate, but I do feel like with the Page of Wands here, yeah, there could be a new creative venture that you want to start here. And like I said, some of you guys could be starting a new business, okay? Another thing is that, you know, a page is obviously a student, so you could be learning something here, 
that you could apply to this new venture, this new beginning that you're starting here. Okay, maybe you guys are going to beauty school or something like that. Maybe you guys are getting certified in yoga or Pilates here, or, you know, perhaps you're getting certified in something regarding, you know, psychic work here, mediumship work, you know, healing work here, uh, Reiki or shamanic work. Tell me about the seven of wands here, seven of wands. And we have the king of wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the four of wands here and the star card, okay? So um, whatever is happening here, as you kind of move forward here, what I'm getting here with the four of wands here and the star card, it just feels right. You know, I feel like this is meant to happen. This is meant to be. So I feel like moving forward here, whatever discipline, whatever focus that you were seeking here, I do feel like it's going to really happen for you guys. So it's kind of like things are really trending upward for you guys here as you move forward with this new creative entry here. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know, look out for, work on for September 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Cancer when it comes to their finances and their career. Okay. So we have the Nine of Cups and also the Ace of Swords. We have three out of the four Aces here. So what's whatever is happening here, you guys are definitely using all your resources here to create what you want here. And I feel like it will bring in happiness and joy and fulfillment for you guys, okay? Three out of the four Aces. Keep in mind, you know, the Aces are housed by the magician so i feel like you guys are creating what you guys want you know you guys are in this kind of like this uh, manifestation energy here where you guys are bringing in the reality that you guys want for yourselves when it comes to your career and your finances here so this knight of wands aries Leo, sagittarius energy whatever new ideas that you have whatever new beginnings that you want to pursue here you're going for it all right and you're gonna nothing's gonna stop you from basically achieving your goals here but also, I feel like one of the things that's really important is that, you know, I feel like you're heading into this really, really quickly here because there's a lot of wants here. It's really fast energy. So it's important for you guys to slow down, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys could be moving too quickly here. And, you know, some of you guys could be in this energy of not thinking before you act, you know, kind of like acting on passion here. So with the uh, hangman here, just slow down a little bit, okay? But continue what you're doing. Hangman, Piscean energy. We also have the magician here, very interesting. And the Knight of Swords. So you have new goals here that you're trying to make happen. Interestingly enough, the Magician came out. The only Ace that we're missing here is the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you're doing everything that you can to accomplish this new goal here. So your manifestations are sort of materializing as you sort of move forward here. And like I said, whatever you're pursuing here, this just feels right. All right, the Nine of Cups here. And just keep in mind that Knight of Wands and that Knight of Swords is very, 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 very fast energy. So like I said, slow down here and try not to move too quickly here, okay? Uh, we have the Five of Swords here and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Just keep in mind that Page of Cups is also a new beginning here too. So we do have all four aces that are out here. So whatever you're trying to do here, you know, I do feel like right now in this very moment, you're putting yourself first with the Five of Swords, okay? Any sort of outside noise, I mean, you're not listening to these people or that, you know, never tell anyone what you're doing until you fully accomplish it, okay? I mean, obviously, there could be competition out there. People could sabotage you. People could take your ideas here. So make sure you materialize what you're trying to create and then spread the word. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Knight of Wands here, and the Three of Swords here, okay? Uh, one thing I'm getting here, I mean, this is regarding hell, but I feel like some of you guys need to exercise more because I feel like some of you guys suffer from high blood pressure or that some of you guys have a heart condition here, okay? And you do feel like some of you guys might need to change a bit of your lifestyle here. Um, I could see why you guys might be stepping into, into arena of, you know, creating a health and wellness business if you guys are pursuing that. I mean, that's not going to resonate with everyone. So just take what resonates here. Tell me the hangman here and the Five of Pentacles, okay. Um, I do believe that some of you guys could be dealing with some sort of health issues here when it comes to your heart situation here. So I feel like you guys need to take care of that, all right? Um, or that you guys could be taking care of it, but you guys need to stay on top of it more. So with the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords here, and the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Cups. 
Also, another thing, random thing, is I feel like someone here from your past could be coming back around to communicate with you. Or this condition that you have had is something that you've had for a very long time and you could be finding out about it now because sometimes that, you know, that Knight of Swords could be, you know, some sort of truth is being revealed here, okay? Maybe you guys could have gone to the doctor recently and you guys could, could be getting results of something that, you know, your mom might have had, you know, your dad might have had. It could be a hereditary thing regarding high blood pressure and some sort of heart condition here. All right, so Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.